Thank you for your interest in the White Pass Guitar Program. I'm Michael Kagan, and I'm the director of the program. The White Pass Guitar Major is a completely unique experience, and in fact, it's the only place in the Commonwealth where students can take eight unique guitar classes over the course of their high school career. The program is designed around four ensemble classes where we make music in small and large groups, and four classes where we work specifically on solo skills. The thought behind this is that musicians that are great soloists will often make great ensemble players, and musicians who are great ensemble players will often make great soloists. It's this virtuous circle where we find the full potential of our beloved instrument through meaningful performance opportunities. Performance opportunities are not limited to guitar ensembles. Students in the White Pass Guitar Program have performed with string quartets, accompanied dancers in original choreography, collaborated with singers in song cycles, participated in the Kentucky All-State Guitar Orchestra, solo and ensemble adjudication, competed at the University of Louisville Guitar Fest, won a seat for the NAFME All Honors National Guitar Orchestra, participated in the Guitar Foundation of America Youth Summit, and those with electric guitar experience have also played in the pit band for school musicals and in jazz bands. There's really no limit to the amount of exciting opportunities available each year. It's more about pacing yourself. A typical day for a guitar major will reflect our block scheduling. So we have red days and white days. On red days, guitar majors will take an 80 minute class on technique and solo repertoire. And on white days, guitar majors will have an 80 minute ensemble rehearsal. We give a minimum of four public concerts each year where we showcase our ensembles or solo playing and some of our collaborations. And we also host four guest artists from all over the world each year for master classes and concerts. And oftentimes our Y Pass Guitar Ensemble gets to open these concerts. Expect to grow, be challenged, have a lot of fun, and be surrounded by a tight-knit, supportive community of people who really, really love the guitar. Hi, my name's Alex Norton and I'm a junior. I think one of the biggest things I've been able to take away from my in-class training and apply outside of school would be leadership skills. Uh, at school we have a class called Ensemble where we are taught and instructed on how to uh, convey a message to other musicians and get everybody on the same page. The times that I use this outside of school the most would have to be band practices, um, playing gigs, and recording. Without y -Pass, I'd be very confused on how to do this stuff and there's really nowhere else that you can get the kind of instruction that you do here with our amazing instructor, Michael Kagan. Uh, he's one of the nicest and most fun and easy people to work with, and I cannot imagine doing it with anyone else. So if you're thinking of being in a band, already in a band, or just want to become a better musician, this is a very great idea. One thing is to prepare, like it prepares me for, as a performer and as a musician, really helps you get used to performing in front of people and it presents you with many opportunities to perform outside of school and in front of bigger audiences and things like that. Hi, my name is Peyton Mendel. I am in the class of 2023 at Y-Pass Guitar. And Y-Pass Guitar, first of all, has just been a total blast for me. And I'm thinking back to like my audition my eighth grade year. At the time, I was studying with Chris Roseland. He's, he's a private lessons teacher here in Louisville, and I highly recommend that you get yourself a private lessons teacher. Because, and this is becoming like more apparent now, as I'm like, like developing my skills, having a lessons teacher really like propels you and elevates you to be better and to push yourself. So I just highly recommend that. And there are like a ton of private lessons guitar teachers in Louisville. So you, and if you 
if you're having a hard time finding one, just like shoot Mr. Kagan an email and he can get you hooked up with one. And I know that for your audition, you've got to get like scales, arpeggios, you got to prepare some pieces, do some sight reading. So that's, that you've got some stuff to do. So just get your practice in, get some practice in with your private lessons teacher and get some practice in at home. Like I, one thing that I'm really learning and I, I kind of learned this as I was preparing for my audition is that in order to like really be, like really be a good musician, you've got to want it for yourself. Like you've got to really push yourself and have that like inner like, like I want to do this, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get better. One thing that I, I highly recommend as you're preparing for your audition is like performing your piece in front of everyone, like your pets, your parents, like your teachers, your friends, whoever will, whoever will listen. Um, I try to balance my schoolwork and my uh, practice by getting all my schoolwork done first, you know, like all my homework, because I know that if I don't and I practice first, then I'm not going to get my schoolwork done or I'm going to get it done really late because I like to procrastinate. <clears throat> so I try to get all my work done beforehand and then I'll also try to like set a time constraint on myself for my practice because if you know if I play too long then I'll eventually hit a point where I won't get any better or like I might potentially injure myself or something so I try to like limit myself to only like a couple hours of practicing My best guitar has really prepared me for college in that I've been connected with a lot of great resources and the standard of playing is really high so you know I come into Y Pass and I might be, uh, you know, playing average music, and the average at Y Pass is so much higher than everywhere else that I am really prepared going into college, especially as a music major, um, and that I'm playing really competitive music and really competitive pieces. Um, also, I am able to uh, able to see lots of concerts and get really good connections in the music world, and especially with professors uh, and places to audition. As a political science and a public policy student, I spend all day in Washington, D.C. Um, on Capitol Hill picking apart legislation, um, going into those bills and looking at those small details. Sometimes it can take hours, even days, to look at bills, and I think that the Y Pass Guitar Program really, really taught me how to be detail-oriented and how to um, focus and how to have discipline even when the work gets hard. Um, Mr. Kagan always taught us that mastery um, takes time and patience, and he always taught us that that if you know you study with negligence and that if you practice carelessly then your work is going to be negligent and your results are not going to be um, what you want them to be. The Y Pass Guitar Program taught me again patience, discipline, how to listen, how to adapt and problem solve which is especially important in the political science world and how to be a member of a team, how to be reliable. Um, one thing I especially have to thank the Y Pass Guitar Program for is giving me four years of space to really explore my intellectual curiosity. You know, the political science world is so vast, there's so many different types of policy, there's so, so many different issues to study, and I think having four years in Y Pass Guitar where I was, you know, encouraged to push myself and explore different types of music, different eras, different genres, it's really, you know, allowed me in my current field of study to explore so many different things and to find those niche issues that I really care about um, so that I can really put my time and my effort into those things. Mm -hmm.